So here in Spain, we eat bread with almost every single meal. Whether you're at home or a restaurant, you'll always find a beautiful basket of bread. And sometimes, especially in restaurants, it's served next to a sauce to take things to the next level. Anyways, today, that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna have an ordinary baguette and jazz it up and pair it with three Spanish sauces. And let me tell you, all of these sauces have so many incredible flavors to them. They're all so easy to make, and each one comes together within minutes, folks. This is what great food is all about, and truly one of the easiest and most delicious recipes we've ever done here on the show. Let's begin by cutting one baguette into diagonal slices that are one inch thick, which is about two and a half centimeters. Once you've cut all the slices from the baguette, transfer them into a baking tray that's lined with parchment paper, and make sure they're all in a single layer. and we'll drizzle each piece of baguette with a kiss of extra virgin olive oil. And we'll add the baking tray into a preheated oven, broil only option, that's just the top heat, 210 degrees Celsius, which is 410 degrees Fahrenheit, and we're gonna lightly toast our slices of baguette just between two to three minutes. Now typically when you're working with a baguette, you don't have to toast it as it already has a great texture. But since we're gonna be adding some sauces over the slices of baguette, you wanna lightly toast them. That way when you add the sauce over the baguette, it doesn't get soggy and it keeps its beautiful texture. All right, let's start making our sauces. For the first sauce, we are making a garlic mayonnaise alioli. This is known here in Spain as un alioli de mayonesa. It's very easy to make and it's got a beautiful creamy texture. I'm gonna add in half a cup of mayonnaise into a bowl, which is 115 grams. Then we'll grab one clove of garlic, finely grate it into the mayonnaise. If you don't have a grater, you can just finely mince the garlic. Then we'll squeeze in one teaspoon of fresh lemon juice, which is five milliliters. And add in one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, which is 15 milliliters. We'll lightly season with a little sea salt and a kiss of freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll whisk it together until everything's well mixed and we end up with a beautiful creamy sauce. Then we'll spread some of the garlic mayo alioli over a couple slices of the toasted baguette. We'll sprinkle each one with just a dash of sweet smoked Spanish paprika. And we'll sprinkle them with some finely chopped parsley. Check it out, our first sauce is done. A very simple garlic mayo alioli that really takes the baguette to the next level. Serve this next to some grilled fish and roasted potatoes for the ultimate experience. All right, let's move on to the second sauce. We're making un picadillo de ajo y perejil. This is basically a parsley and garlic sauce. I'm gonna grab a generous handful of fresh parsley and finely chop it. And we'll add in about a quarter cup of the chopped parsley into a bowl, which is about 20 grams. Then we'll grab one clove of garlic, finely grate it into the parsley. Once again, if you don't have a grater, you can just finely mince the garlic. And we'll add in two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, which is 30 milliliters. We'll season with a little sea salt, and once again, just a kiss of freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll whisk it together until everything's well mixed. And then we'll spread some of our parsley and garlic mixture over a couple slices of toasted baguette. And check it out, our second sauce is then un picadillo de ajo y perejil, a beautiful parsley and garlic sauce that's made with just a handful of ingredients but has the most incredible flavors. This truly takes a baguette to the next level of goodness. Serve this next to a stew or even a couple fried eggs for an incredible pop of flavors. All right, for our third and final sauce, we are making tomate rallado con ajo. This is a beautiful tomato sauce that hails from the region of Catalonia, where it's super popular and with good reason why, because it is so good. I'm gonna begin by grabbing a couple fresh tomatoes. To make this sauce, I'm using tomatoes off the vine, but you can use whatever tomatoes you like. And I'm gonna finely grate them into a bowl. Now, if you don't have a grater, you can also do this sauce by using a food processor. Then we'll finely grate one clove of garlic into the tomato sauce. 
and add in one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, which is 15 milliliters. Then we'll season with a little sea salt and just a dash of freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll whisk it together until everything's well mixed. Then we'll spread the tomato mixture over a couple slices of the toasted baguette. And sprinkle them with some finely chopped parsley. Check it out, our third and final sauce is then tomate rallado con ajo. Such a beautiful tomato sauce from the region of Catalonia. So easy to make, but it truly gives the baguette the most incredible flavor. You saw this folks, three very simple Spanish sauces that take the ordinary baguette to the next level. Let's give one of them a try and see how it turned out. Seriously folks, look how incredible this turned out. We grabbed an everyday baguette and created such a beautiful dish. Let's try one of them. Here we go. That's what good food is all about right there. Bravo. You know, this is one of those things, like I always tell you, the Spanish kitchen, less is more. Simplicity meets extraordinary. We grabbed everyday simple ingredients and created such an incredible dish with this bread. Uh, serve this at your next tapas party or for dinner as a side dish. Either way, the flavors are going to completely blow you away. Really quick before I go, a shout out to a couple of my patrons, Michael Fenter, Catherine Clark, Jean, Maybeth Robles, and William Judd. Gang guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. For the rest of you, if you're not with me on Patreon and you'd like to support the show so I can continue to release videos like this, you'll find my Patreon in the description box below and iCard above. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. Leave me a comment below and if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Slash that subscribe button. Till the next time, hasta luego. All right, folks. Once again, it is a wrap. And seriously, like I told you, this is simplicity meets extraordinary. So good. Try this. You're going to absolutely love it. Hasta luego.